we'll guide you through how to share and move your project in CapCut PC. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Here's the project I wish to go and share. So firstly, make sure you don't have a video selected or another piece of media. So just click on a bit of blank space in the timeline like so, and head over to the right to the details and go to the bottom right and click on modify. Now, what you want to do is go down to import material and make sure you select copy to project and then press save like so. Now it's moving that material to the actual project file, which is super important because then when we move the project file, the media will be with it. Next, come over to the right again into details and we can go to saved and saved is where the project file is. And so we need to go to this location here. So this should be the default one. You may have wanted to change yours, but it probably is this one here. And so to get to the app data folder super quickly, just go to the bottom of your computer and click on search and type in percentage app data percentage again, just like so and click on it. And this will take you to the app data roaming folder. So we just need to go to app data. To get there, you can click on app data at the top of the file explorer and then go into local, then scroll down until you see CapCut, double click on it. And now what we can do is start to follow this path. So as you can see, we need to go into user data, then projects, so user data. We'll scroll down and go to projects. And now we need to go to lveditor.draft, this top one here. And now we can go and see all of our projects. And now you're probably thinking, which is this one? Well, if we go to the details again, we can see it's 12152, which is this one here. Then what I'm going to do is just right click on it and go and press on copy. If you're on Windows 10, it will just say copy down here. But for Windows 11, you're pressing it or icon there. And now let's come to our desktop and I'll just go and right click on my desktop here and click on paste just like so. And then here it is. So the easiest way to transfer this is to make it a zip file. So right click on it and press on compress the zip file and now it's compressing and just like that we've now got the zip file and so now what you can do is send that to people and all they'll need to do is go and open up the zip file and they need to go and get this file folder here and drag this into their CapCut project folder where we just were and they can locate their CapCut project folder by coming to this destination here um, and they can put it in there. And just to prove to you this works, I'm going to go and delete the project I just went and copied so I'll click on the three dots and press delete there we go, it's now in the trash and I'll delete it from the trash so it's now permanently deleted, but I can go and re-add it. So to go and re-add it, as I said before, you need to go to your CapCut projects folder. By default, you need to go back to the app data, just like that and go to the file folder. At the top, click on app data again, then go into local and scroll down and TC CapCut and go into user data and then projects just here. And then this folder here is for me. You can check yours in the details in CapCut though. And then we can go and re-add it. So it's super important that you go and open up that zip folder and then you drag the file folder from the zip file into there, just like so. And it should go and directly add it just like that. And now if I go and open up CapCut again, as you can see, the project is here. I can go and double click on it and it should open up fine. And it should work fine as well because we copy the media to the project. If you guys found this useful, then please leave a like.